Okay, this is Alex from phpacademy.org and I'm creating this tutorial for the new Boston about functions and this time we're going to be passing arguments to our function. Um, I've already spoken about why functions are useful but I'll recap. Functions are useful in code to shorten the amount of code you do have to write and you can refer back to these functions which is called calling a function and it will process the same code every time you call. Um, and we set up a function like this. We have function, we have the name of the function, we have a block of code, uh, and the code goes in here, and we call the function simply by calling the function name. So this is the standard syntax that you would expect to find in a function. Now, what if I want to create a function that's going to add two numbers together? Now, this is a sort of real-life example of why you might use a function. You may have a program that simply does add two numbers together. You might take user input, you might take number one and number two, and you may need a function to add these two numbers together to save, um, you know, repeating this code. Um, it's always good practice to use functions as well because they structure your code a lot better than if you're doing things on the fly. Uh, by calling functions, especially with arguments, you're saving a lot of time and you're making it look a lot better, a lot easier to read as well. So what we're going to do is I'm going to get rid of this calling here, I'm going to get rid of this, and I'm going to call this function add. Now, inside this function, I need to specify which arguments I want to bring into the function to be able to use, and these are in the in the in the uh, form of variables. So I want number one, comma, number two. So I'm feeding in two different numbers. Now I haven't specified the um, the variable type. I haven't specified if these are numbers or string. It doesn't actually matter. That depends on how you deal with everything uh, inside your function here. So my function is going to add two numbers together. Now what I want to do is I want to echo out this particular result. So I want to echo number one. Now this is in reference to this. So the arguments up here must match when you reference them inside your function. So number one plus number two, and then we've just echoed that out. So now if we call our function, uh, first of all, I'm going to show you, um, I'm going to call it without any arguments inside here, just to show you what happens. So let's refresh. Now you can see that we've got a warning come up, um, which is missing argument for one, or missing argument one for add. So it's telling us, uh, the first argument is missing for this named function and it tells us where it's been called and it also tells us where our function has been declared. Um, it's also missing an argument too for the same function called in the same place and def uh, defined or declared in the same place. And then it's actually given us our result. So we obviously want to now include some numbers. So what I'm going to do is up here I'm going to say um, number or i number one equals 10. i just for me stands for input so and I'm going to say i number two equals five so by the end of this when we've created this we should have the result of 15 because 10 add 5 is 15 so we're going to add these two numbers together so when we call our function down here we want to specify these two variables now these two variables will then be passed through i number one will be passed through to number one and i number two um, I mean i number one i number two can be called absolutely anything you could call it sort of num one uh, n one anything you wanted but I'm just uh, using these so we can keep an eye on it so i number one comma i number two that's all the arguments that we need to pass so these two variables here are going to be interpreted here and then they're going to be processed here and we're just echoing out um, the result of this so now let's refresh and see what we get we get the result of 15 so uh, let's change these variables around a bit we'll say 22 add 8 this should equal 30 so let's refresh and see if everything works that's fine okay so now what what do we want to do if we're wanting to pass let's say a number and a string so let's create another function uh, let's delete everything and start again I'm going to create a new function called display date 
Okay, and what's this? What this is going to do is it's going to feed in the day, the date, and the year. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is echo day, and we want to append a space. Then we want to append date, append another space, and append year. Um, so obviously our day here is going to be in a string format because it will be either Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, all the way up to Sunday. Date is going to be uh, an integer and year is going to be an integer. So what do we need to do to be able to say, well we need to read in a, a string and we need to read in two integers? Well the answer is we need to do absolutely nothing. As with variables um, on their own, PHP is going to handle this for us. So now I'm going to call the function display date. I'm going to type in Monday uh, 31 2011 just for an example and now the result of this will be Monday 31 2011 so it's doing exactly what we've asked it to do even if we combine variables so that's functions um, with arguments being passed in PHP